There are some turns in life that you never see coming, but that detour can turn out to be your destiny. Cronkite News reporter Erin Slindy tells us how one person's love for drawing has taken her far in the golf world. Technology has taken over many positions in the sports world, but there are some positions that are irreplaceable. Sandra Strzok has done the calligraphy for golf scorecards for more than 40 years. She went to school to be an artist until one day she got a unique job offer. They needed a calligrapher and I didn't know what that meant. Write the names and keep the score. I said I could do that. After each golfer sinks their final putt of the day on the last hole, their scores are recorded up here by Strzok on large sheets for everyone to see. The scoreboard is part of the championship. In other words, to go to one of these events and not see a scoreboard would be like, oh my God, it'd be like, it's, it's part of an event. Scorecards are a significant part of the golf culture at tournaments from the junior level to the professional level. Everybody as a group of people get together more, they interact more, they, you know, it's, I feel like it's a little bit more of a tournament kind of a feel. Scorecard calligraphers are important to the game of golf because they are the finalization of the lineups and the scores for each golfer and team. Because if something's been misspelled, something's changed, I, I, they come and tell me and I change it right away. Strzok is now living a life she had never imagined. She may not be a fan of hot weather, but the relationships she has made through her time working as a scoreboard calligrapher make her job worth it. Golf events are happy events. And every, everybody's outside, they're enjoying themselves, they're walking, they're, they're just... Just having a good time. In Scottsdale, Aaron Slindy, Cronkite News. Strzok recently did the scorecard calligraphy for the NCAA Women's and Men's Golf Championships at the Greyhawk Golf Club's Club in Scottsdale.